Well, guys, I don't quite know what's up with this downtown today. There is a there's a camel downtown on the green, and to my right over here. By the way, welcome. Is what looks to be a horse carrying a carriage. It's 54 degrees and raining. Not quite understanding this today. And a new Cadillac XTS appropriately parked in the handicapped spot. Yeah. Clydesdale pulling a carriage. At least it looks good. Unlike that. Well, that deserves a mention. It's an E38 750. So that thing has a V12 in it. I believe the S70 V12. And yeah, that would be another hideous Cadillac parked in a handicap spot. All right, I'm getting a haircut over here at Great Clips, and uh, I've chosen this pig to park next to. 530, I think, with the little 5 Series wheels. That are really dirty. Holy crap. Okay, that was easy as hell. Seven minutes and fourteen dollars later, we're done, and I feel lighter and younger. So I guess that's great. The five's still here. I'm gonna head back now. I've been doing some math stuff this morning. Um, what else? I got up at like noon. I didn't get to bed until four or something, but I got up at noon or eleven, eleven forty-five maybe. Oh, there's Mercedes over here for sale. I was gonna film when I came in, but the flip takes like forty-five minutes to turn on. It's a three hundred SE over there. Okay. That is it. It's surprisingly warm, but still raining. I'm gonna head back, maybe get that tree de decorated the rest of the way. That needs to get done. I've been putting it off. Just drove past the Shell station over here, and uh, there, that 911 I saw yesterday, or Saturday, that's sitting in there getting gas. That guy DM 911, the beautiful red 911. Anyways, they have uh, male deer over here with antlers, and they're taking pictures in a big snow globe. So I guess it's some Christmas thing. They got horses down here and a camel. What does a camel have to do with Christmas? Probably something religious that I don't understand or wish to. And that's what's going on here. And there's a new X3. E F25 BMW X3. Looks nice. If I were a bigger asshole than I already were, this car could make that horse absolutely flip shit. But I'm not going to do it because that would be detrimental to those who choose to exist around me. Uh, I've got 418 more power than that horse has. I'm going to complain for a minute. Look at these people crawl through this light. Absolutely crawl through. And this light is short as hell and I'm going through it. And look at this guy. What's this guy doing? Okay, there's a kid on the sidewalk. I promise he's not gonna run out in the road. The fat guy in the red's holding his hand. Come on, Toyota! Look at this. That's like 10 miles an hour we're going at right now. It's Japanese car drivers. Kidding, Data Zoo. All right, we're up to 20 now. First gear still, it's 19. Yeah, I know, the check engine light came on this morning. Come on, there's 20. Oh, brakes, yep, we're going too fast there and his third brake light doesn't work. Or he just turned on his regular lights. Jesus. Well, guys, we're getting dickered down here. I can't find the Christmas tree ornaments. I already brought one box up and there should be like three. And it's seemingly not here. So I really don't want to tear all of this out and go through it. But there's the boxes for the new Hella lights. The box for the depot lights. It has my OEM Hellas is over there. Um, and then my tail lights, if you remember when I did those, are in this box. And I would show them to you and you'd laugh at how bad they look, but they're all covered in bubble wrap, and I don't want to open them up again. Actually, the last time those things saw the light of day was when Colt was here in July, and I packed them up and put them back in the Hella box. And they make some really ghastly lights. Look at that. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. That's what they put on the side here. And they've got the smoked ones like Colt has. Those are better. But I prefer... OEM with a clear bulb. Well, I feel like a dumbass now. They were on the bottom of everything that I had stacked on top of them, which I've now put back. But, there's what I'm looking for, so up she goes. Well, last time I was with Cadon, we found this car, and he's back, and so is the E38 740 Li. Not foreshadowing any It's very nice, in titanium silver, with gorgeous wheels, and the V8. You hear it? It's been like a foggy, misty rain for the last couple hours. Uh, Ken and I went out, got a shake, and it is very, very, very foggy. And my headlights did well. By the way, that video is up on E39 Source as of this afternoon. I didn't, wasn't able to get it up last night. I got all the editing done. I didn't want to sit, wait for it to export and upload. Anyhow, now we're in the garage. It's like 53, 54 degrees out here. It's not bad at all for December. 
and the car got wet, but it's December for freak's sake. Usually I, I stop caring about driving it in perfect weather all the time uh, in like September or October. And then we'll get a nice week in October and I'll clean it up and it'll stay in the garage when it rains at night or something. But I drove a perfectly clean car and kept my wheels clean and Zanoed the carbon off the back once a week for most of November and quite a bit of October. It's been a, a, a very nice cold, but not wet and rainy and snowy at all. And even when it did snow, it, it was gone before I had to go out and drive. So that was really nice and the roads were dry. But now winter is approaching, uh, but that's all right. That's to be expected. Don't have to deal with much more of this. And the car's going in tomorrow morning at 8.30 to Kent for its bodywork. Um, I think I mentioned this before, maybe in one of the E39 source videos. This fender over here, right here on the left, I think somebody pointed this out to me. Actually, the first time somebody pointed it out to me, that was kind of one of the main things that made me actually want to be proactive about doing it. I was at Dave Walter BMW, I had it back then, I was picking up some part. This was, I think, when Colt was here, so July. What was I getting? I don't remember. It was some cheap generic part that I had to go in and pick up. And um, the guys, some of the salesmen were on break or leaving their shift or whatever, and they came out and they were looking at the car, and they brought up two things that pissed me off. The one guy said, yeah, those aren't uh, OEM headlights, are they? And I'm like, no, they're the cheapo depots, and, and that, that sucked. But that's been rendered. Uh, and then the other thing was they said, oh, you should probably get this checked out before it gets worse, you know, seeing the condition of the rest of the car. It's a couple little rust bubbles. The flip's never going to see it. Um, and the paint, it just looks like little bubbles. Actually, you kind of can see it. Um, it's got a indented, in, indented, but it's out. I, I don't know. It, it protrudes from the rest of the car a little bit. And if you feel on the other side, it feels a little thicker. And just like this, this is really smooth. Then you get over here, and it kind of... It doesn't feel crumbly. I mean, I can't smash it at all in there. It's a little dirty, but it's not the way it should be, obviously. So, obviously, it's just a little bit of uh, deterioration of the, the body work. So, I got a quote. It's going to be like $465, $475-ish to do it. They're going to have it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday is going to be the sandblast and clean-out day. Well, they'll clean it out. Tuesday, it will be painted. Um, and then Wednesday it will be cleared and let it dry and then I should be able to pick it up late Wednesday or Thursday morning worst case before classes So that'll be nice. It's gonna suck not having it for a few days, but that'll fix that um, I think that when I had the body work done on the front, you know I had the hood and fenders repainted and I had the new grills put in and the bumper replaced So I didn't have the holes and it was a dick bumper anyways <clears throat> um, I had the same guy do the paintwork and he did an excellent job He's not too good with wiring. He kind of screwed up the DSP or the uh, DSC, the traction system, but I trust him doing this. He does good paint work. So we'll get that done. Then I also got a quote back here. Is it locked? Yes, I don't have a key on me. Um, everybody's noticed on E39 source. On the right rear corner of my trunk lid, there's another little bubble. It's been there since I got the car. It kind of stayed the same for a long time, so I kind of hoped I could let it go, but now I can tell it's not ideal. And then over here under the badge, there's another little... Um, See? A little bit of bubbles. So I'm going to deal with that in the spring. It's actually quite a bit cheaper. He quoted me about 300 for that, which surprised me because they're on like body lines. So he said he'll redo that and then paint everything from this body line up to the spoiler here. So that'll all be repainted and fixed and then that'll create, that'll fix every little bit of body imperfection on the car with the exception of a couple little places on the rear bumper and there's a ding in one of the doors from some parking lot somewhere. We probably won't be able to see it since it's wet, but it's over there. Anyways, I'm really anal about it. This is a long clip, I'm sorry. But it is going to be de uh, dealt with. I I'm not too worried about the trunk right now because it's virtually been the same for a long time. And he said it looks decent for now. I'll get it through the winter, and then I'll head back in the spring. And when my mowing money starts coming in, and we'll get that taken care of in a couple of days. So I'm going to go in and answer these text messages that have been bombard bombarding me for the last few minutes. I got the tree decorated and the train up around the tree, so we'll film that in a little bit. All right, buddies, I am all the way in the back corner of the family room trying to get the whole thing in frame, and then I think I have succeeded. Anyways, all the crap's on here. All the stuff that goes on there is on there, including me. Where am I? There I am. And Lindsay's on here, too, somewhere, but that is done. And here's my grandfather's train around the, around the tree, if I can get down. And uh, it's hooked up, so it should work if I crawl over here. And turn the switch on this huge ancient transformer. And I think that is, let's reverse, switch the direction switch.
track isn't perfectly clean so it jolts a little bit. Had to fix that light. I actually stole one of the bulbs out of the back so I'm going to have to run over to the, the whistle stop train store and uh, get another bulb that it works and it's quiet and I forget how high quality this whole thing is. I have a Bachman train. It's, this is G-Gage. I have a Bachman and it's really plasticky and it feels like a toy compared to this stuff. This track, it feels like it's gold and, and like, ouch, that was dumb. Gold and wood ties. That's what I get for looking at the camera and not real life. Um, but this, this is really good stuff. I'm pretty sure it's LGB. I mean, that engine's probably 10 pounds and each one of these cars is a couple pounds. So that works. I'll go park it over there. We'll warm it up a little bit. There we go. We're hauling. And we'll slow it down. So, that's cool. Everything with that is done. And that's pretty much all I have for this vlog. I've been talking to Bobby over here for a little bit. I made myself some popcorn. And nobody knew. Nobody commented what that is. I'll have to show you guys later. Alright, so that's it. It's 12.30. I'm gonna go to bed. Get the car dropped off tomorrow morning, do a bunch of stuff I don't want to do tomorrow, and move on with it. So, good night. Thanks for watching. Kind of a long one. Let me know if you like that or not. Okay, bye.